I don't want to hear it, okay? You need to get an iPhone. No, <laughs> my I got iPhone. I've got all sorts of text messages spinning on my thing now because you're bombarding me. I sent two texts that aren't even going through now because the stupid group message thing. I was saying that you're making you're an argument Android. that doesn't help you, bro. You're telling me that it's easier. You're telling me that if you have a great receiver playing across from you and you still get your receptions, then that makes you great. But I see it as the other way where you're other, rather than fighting for receptions, you're facing more favorable mashups. You're getting more one-on-ones or even two-on-ones instead of the Calvin Johnson three-on-one that he had his entire career. But, that, but that's the thing. They were doubling Randy, bro. Literally, my text that probably froze you up was Dante Culpepper would literally just heave the ball up in the air at Randy and hope for the best. Yeah, and this that is same thing Calvin Johnson did. Constantly. Bro. Yeah, but Calvin Johnson I have was nightmares. the only receiver in Detroit, though. Yeah, but that's the point, is they could put 11 people on <laughs> Calvin Johnson, get some fat defensive linemen running in the field with him. No. And I'm but, not taking anything away from him, but he also played in an era where the DBs could barely touch wide receivers. Randy Moss stayed getting mugged, bro. Same thing with Jerry bro, Rice. I'm telling like, you, you're Jerry talking Rice about... Jerry Rice is better than Calvin Johnson to me. But Jerry Rice is, is the is the GOAT. He's the best there ever was. There's no touching yeah, Jerry Randy, Rice. Randy Moss is 1A, bro. No. No. Yes. I mean, you, you could... Young see, man. Our, you our... remember watching Randy Moss live. No, of course I do. I, bro, I, I remember very clearly when he smoked Dallas, just like I remember very clearly when Calvin Johnson went over three defenders 50 yards downfield and, and smoked Dallas. Like, I have Randy nightmares of this guy. That. Yeah, I know. They both have. They both have. <laughs> that's, why they call, that's why they call it. What was that? His, his three reception <laughs> game for like 120 yards and three touchdowns against Dallas? Yeah, that was great. That was awesome. Fun times. Um, no, and if Calvin Johnson played for a, a better team, not the freaking Lions, like, you have the Lions, you have the Browns, like, they're the least visible franchises in the league. If he, had, if he was yeah. a more visible, more popular franchise, he'd have his own thing. He has his own uh, Megatron, right? His own nickname. He would have his own catch thing getting getting calvin or or whatever the hell you want to call it right if you would play for a more visible franchise with a uh, more visible qb i mean matt stafford's great don't get me wrong or as you know not great he's really 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 good matt, but, matt stafford's a top 15 quarterback in the nfl currently right now yeah i mean yeah he, but he's also i think towards getting towards the end of his career i mean too. he's towards the end of his career but he's still in his prime I mean, he still took his team to the super bowl last in year. his prime i think he was and the last year he wasn't even in his prime i think last year was just a good combination of rams went all in and just spent a ton of money on really good players and now they're paying for it <laughs> this year well, um yeah, but also matt stafford in his prime matt stafford in his prime was extremely underrated but when i talk when i say great that's like you know, the Tom Brady's, the Aaron Rodgers, those guys. Like, he wasn't in their category, but he was a really good quarterback who could win a Super Bowl if he wasn't in Detroit, the most cursed franchise in the NFL history. Yeah. So so my my thing with that is Randy played with one good quarterback his entire career, one season, and put up probably the greatest statistical season as a wide receiver. I'm, I'm not – Randy Moss is Brady. amazing, bro. Like, I'm not taking anything away from Randy Moss. I like the kind of player, like Randy Moss, he could go up and get the ball, right? I would say that Randy Moss was probably a better route runner than Calvin Johnson, and he was probably faster than Calvin Johnson. If I had to guess, I'm not 100% sure. I have to see their, their 40 speeds. But Randy Moss is more of like a down the field streaker and a good route runner, whereas Calvin Johnson's like, you could put 11 guys on him, throw him the ball, he'll go up and get it. Like he was an absolute, uh, you know, crazy catch radius just a monster and those are my favorite kind of wide receivers are the guys that can just throw it up and it's not a 50 50 it's like a 70 30 or 80 20 in, in the receiver's favor i mean that's how it was for randy moss though not I like mean, calvin it, johnson though it's not the same yeah, as calvin johnson man. dude randy used to jump over dude downfield i know like, I swear, D dante culpepper would just throw the ball up in the air he was a beast look. bro like I'm not, I'm I mean, not taking anything away from Randy Moss. He Rand, was a beast. Randy didn't have any quarterbacks. Who were his quarterbacks? I have to look. Cause I don't even know. I have to look it up and see. He had an over the hill Warren Moon. He had Dante Culpepper. Dante was pretty good for a while. He had Brad Johnson at the end of his career. Yeah, Brad Johnson, yeah. And then was, he had. Uh, he was with Brady for what? Three years? Two years? No, he was with Brady one year. Nah, more than one year, wasn't it? I thought he had one him for. Year. Are you sure about that? One year and they I'm went 16-0. I don't trust that. 
Look at that. He was with the Patriots from 2007 to 2010. Randy Moss. So it was three years. Vikings for... No. Yeah. That's what I thought. I don't remember anything about his career after the Patriots. And he went to the 49ers so, as well. So I'm trying to think about the time that he played. Who would have been in Detroit? Or who would have been in Minnesota? So he would have played with like Gus Farratt. Fucking, uh, not, not, not Case Keenum, not Matt Cassell or Castle. Old Matt um, Castle. I'm trying to think of who else would have been there. I know for sure he played with, he played with Moon. Um, he played with Moon, Brad Johnson, and Dante Culpepper. I think he may have played with Rich Gannon too, towards the end. He got all the old QBs, yeah. Yeah, he got all. That's well. That's what Minnesota kept trying to do. They kept trying to bring in these old, washed up, you know, QBs. Yeah, no. The reason I the reason I asked that question because I was having a conversation with somebody on TikTok about it, and somebody had posted a thing. Who are the three best wide receivers that you want, or who who's the best wide receiver you would want in a goal line situation? was Julio Jones. Oh, goal line? Give me Calvin Johnson all day, bro. That's changes it everything, was, too. It was it was Julio Jones, nah. Randy Moss, Calvin Johnson, or Jerry Rice. Julio Jones was really good for a while, and then I don't know what's happened, bro, but he has drops. Injuries. He, uh, in, yeah, he's been injured for a thousand years. Yeah, injuries. But he was a monster it's just, for a minute. It's, he's but a the big thing guy. With, so Julio Jones was great for a minute. Like... A, the most elite of the elite, like one of the best that I've ever seen for a few seasons. But then, yeah, injuries, and then just you know whatever. But if but we're talking Matt about Ryan started sucking. If we're talking about goal line situations where you're just gonna throw up a fade ball or a slant, give me Calvin Johnson, a one thousand times out of one thousand times, I'll take him because that's his specialty: is high pointing the ball, out jumping people, being you're a crazy, physical bro. specimen. Randy, That's crazy to me. If I have to go 80 yards in in a minute, minute and a half, I'll take Randy Moss because he's got the speed, he's got the route running. Dude, you're crazy. Randy Moss was 6'5 and had like a 40 inch vertical, bro. Bro, I know, <laughs> I know he outjumped people, but if you're talking, if you want to put on the tape and look at career highlights of, <laughs> I mean, we're talking, we're talking out of you know both sides of our mouth here because they both do the same thing. They're both nasty at it. Yeah, yeah, but... <laughs> it's 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 body. The only difference between those two, between the two players, and that's what I told the dude. I was like, don't get me wrong, Calvin Johnson is a, is an absolute fucking monster. I was like, the difference he between the two dudes. I was like, that's and that's what I told him. I was like, the difference between the two dudes is Calvin Johnson is two sixty, you know, was, on, yeah. on a six three frame, six four frame. Yeah, Randy Moss was two ten on a 6-6 six, six frame or whatever it was. Yeah. I was like, that's your difference? I was like, the, and the other side to that was is that Randy Moss had a better overall, I think, game than Calvin Johnson. I agree. Did. I would. I agree with that. He was more so, well-rounded. But then, but then the kid went off the rails, and, and I was like, but the end-all, be-all is Jerry Rice is better than both of them. And he was like... There's no Just, way Jerry Rice is better than both. I was like, bro, do you realize that Jerry Rice he was This must have been a, a Lions fan, right? He he had to be, bro, because he he was he was saying he was saying Matt, Matt Stafford was the worst quarterback the Lions ever had, and I was like, bro, you're a Lions homer. I was like, I can't discuss this with you anymore. I was oh like, if you're saying dude. if you're saying that Matt Stafford is the worst quarterback the Lions ever had, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs>